Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Today we are doing my first model railway review and we are looking at the Orcision P-Class. So let's get into the video. Roll the intro. <laughs> The P-Classes were rebuilt first series flat top T-Classes, built in the years 1984 to 1985. 13 were produced, and their road numbers were P11 to P23. The P had seen all the major livery changes that V-Line had introduced, such as the Mark 1 and the Mark 2, the cheeseburger livery, and these were all options that you could buy as the model. P19 to 23 was owned by Freight Australia and wore the Freight Australia livery. Currently, there are five in service, six stored and two preserved. Two of them in the blue and gold VR livery preserved at the Seymour Railway Heritage Centre. Other P's remain in the classic heritage livery just with updated logos, or the new yellow and black livery which is all SSR. The P class was mainly used on the push and pull services with the H cars and September 2017 saw all the P's withdrawn from service. So this is the Bendigo Rail Models P class distributed and manufactured by Orcision. The model was released in June 2015, that's almost 9 years ago now, and it has been sold out in all stores. So if you pick one of these up in stores, then this is the box that you would have got with it. It says here, this is Bendigo Rail Models, uh, that's like a partnership of one of the brands that Precision has promoted with uh, the distribution of the P-Class. And as you see here on the bottom of the box, it says distributed exclusively by Precision Models. And the box itself actually looks really nice. So the front of the box is one of the sides of the locomotives. Top of the box, top of the locomotive. And on each end is a side of the locomotive, which is really cool, a nice detail to the box. It is a ready to run HO scale. And the model I've got is the orange and gray V-Line livery. Here are some of the other variations and the other liveries that you were able to get from Orcision. I only picked this model up maybe last year because yeah as i've said it's sold out in all stores and you can't get them anymore and i actually picked this up off one of my good friends now because of the model so shout out trent thanks to you which is why i've ended up with this one that i actually really wanted i wanted p18 because that old the last uh, regular passenger service from lean gather in 93. let's take a look at what comes inside the box now so just flip that up and you've got your nice i believe it's called blister packaging you slide that out and the locomotive would just sit in here in the box you've got your basic instruction manual and it's got an exploded diagram as well of the locomotive here it is and there's a nice bit of foam here to keep the model safe so this HO scale model is ready to run out of the box it's got scale knuckle couplers it has LED headlights with a manual override switch under the loco, has working marker lights and you can see the brass horns on top of the loco. And here you can see me changing direction and you can see the lights are changing. There's two drivers in the cab and the cab is actually detailed but obviously hard to get a look in there but it's nice to know that it is. The model has separately applied parts such as the handrails which is brass, the brake piping and the air hoses as well. This model out of the box was DC, but I had a DCC and sound converted thanks to the guys at Train World in Brighton. The sound file that I'm using is Mike's sound file with an extra added horn as well. I noticed that my Tate sound file had extra horns on options 22 and 23, so I actually got them added on into the P-Class sound file as it would seem like a very similar horn or a very accurate horn to what the P-Class really does have and I'm super happy with it. And again, thanks to the guys at Trainwell for that. This is a very nice looking model. I love the way it looks and it really runs great on the layout. It barely has any problems. Obviously with the shorter wheelbase, you've just got to make sure that your track is all properly connected and properly wired up and you will have a really smooth run with this locomotive. All right, let's take a proper look at some of the sound functions on the P-Class.
So overall, I think this is a great looking locomotive. I think it's a great model. It definitely looks the part and it looks really, really good on the layout. I think the orange on these Ossetian P classes, I think the orange looks really, really good. My mate brought over his orange L class and the orange just looks, it's a bit too bright. Either it's just too new. I don't know if that's too accurate or not, but both of us were sitting there looking at it, just thinking that's a bit too bright something's different something's off about it but i think for me in my personal opinion i think the p-class orange looks really really good so i'm very very happy with this model the only thing that happened with this model was i actually did have to get the motor replaced now that's a pretty big thing replace the motor but it is a second hand model that i did buy this has been out for nearly nine years now and I would say if it got a lot of running with the previous owner, then a motor swap is not the worst thing after nine years, after a fair bit of running around. So it's not the worst thing. It cost me 50 bucks to replace the motor at Train World in Brighton. So thanks to them for getting that done in no time at all. And I'm just very happy with this locomotive. And I am running my sound file in here and I'm super happy with it. And I even got an extra horn on the locomotive, which was this one. And that was the short version and this is the long version. So I hit option 22, then it's a long horn, then if I hit it again, it'll stop the horn, or if I just did option three, it's the short horn. I'm super happy to have a variety of horns on the model as well. And I think it looks great on the layout. It suits my error, it suits the error of the layout, and I'm just super happy with that. And I'm super happy with the model overall, despite the motor swap. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review. I hope I did well. Uh, give me some feedback, leave a comment below if there's anything you want to see me do with future reviews. Uh, we were going to do a load test with a brass set, but we just didn't get time to do that. But anyways, thanks again for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. If you want to follow me on my socials, then click the links in the description, and you can follow me and find me on TikTok and Instagram, all at Victorian underscore Steam. Anyway, guys, take care, peace, and we'll see you in the next video.